Well, welcome to this China Collectors video showing or demonstrating some Royal Albert Bone China and the pattern that we're uh, highlighting today is one called Silver Maple made by Royal Albert over a relatively long period of time in the United Kingdom. It uh, basically is an octagonal shaped teacup that they went for in this design. I'm going to show you one in detail here. Lovely, very narrowing base, slightly little uh, nib or nipped wasted on the, the base of the teacup and then this very wide pedestal foot that again comes out onto uh, an octagonal aspect. Uh, usually is very nicely china marked, Royal Albert Bone China, England, silver maple picked up in a, a grey or silver colour but it's gilt decorated, a fine double reverse handle and then again an octagonal walled teacup design with again this silver maple leaf design in the inner and outer aspect decoration. Really beautiful and in the hand feels absolutely wonderful. The saucer for these sets is a deeply scalloped rim, quite deep curved saucer. There we go. Again, usually marked with the Royal Albert silver maple in brown and grey. Lovely things. No longer in production, obviously. Let's just run you over. With this set in front of you, we've got the smaller of the two milk jugs. This was probably made for the Demitasse coffee cup set, to be absolutely accurate. Again, Royal Albert Silver Maple, quarter pint milk or cream jug. Rib walled with a little bit of pantalooning, slightly Montrose shape in the milk jug, but not full on Montrose with the big wide bulges on the base. And again, a deeply scalloped rim, a little bit of gilt decoration around the handle, and this one's in really fine, bright condition, as you can see. Another little small of the version sugar basins, an open sugar bowl, Royal Albert Silver Maple. These all, everything we've shown you here is first quality Royal Albert China Mark, and a key to spotting a second is they will usually be scratched right across the China Mark or drilled out, a drill hole put on them. That's... Uh, a giveaway sometimes it's just like a round dot that they've removed the transfer with but any damage to the uh, the factory marks on Royal Albert um, you should consider the possibility that you're looking at what was initially picked up by the QC guys and sold as a second as opposed to a first quality or perfect piece of China this again I think is the smaller version of the sugar bowls and would have been sold not with these teacups originally but with the demi tasse or coffee cups, the small version cups uh, that were made in this range. So this would have been sold with the teapot in a full Montrose style pantaloon wide two and a half, two and a quarter pint teapot. The little espresso cups or demi tasse cups would have been sold as a set with the smaller version milk and sugar basins, but with a tall coffee pot. Uh, very popular during the 1970s, 80s. Last production of Royal Albert Silver Maple was probably in the early 1990s, although there's no exact records of when last production as opposed to the last sale, because Royal Albert is still going as a, a branded pottery, but on a very limited range of patterns still. Now, I hope you found that useful and interesting. Royal Albert Silver Maple is one of the very nice, very subtle colour palettes, isn't it? This silvery grey, very subtle pattern decoration then with the gilt and it's all about the molded shapes here this lovely victorian style octagonal walled open um, style of teacups just delightful thanks for watching